Hello everybody, this is Zit Games, and here is the evolution of the Settlers video games. The Settlers game series is actually, in case you didn't know, one of the oldest strategy games that follows a very, very calm atmosphere with some fighting elements. The Computer Gaming World magazine actually praised this game's character and the complexity of the economic system, especially lauding the focus on economics over combat. In October of the year 2000, this game was awarded the Giga Mouse by Hilton Magazine at the Frankfurt Book Fair. It was also then given an award from the Computer Games Interactive Online Features and Educational Programs Suitable for Children. <laughs> The Settlers 4 did receive mixed or average reviews with an aggregate score of 74 out of 100 based on 5 reviews on Metacritics and the game rankings. In the United Kingdom, Heritage of Kings was actually received a silver award from the Entertainment and Leisure Software Publishers Associations, including sales of at least 100,000 units sold in its first week. All right. Yes, yes. Consider it done. Sure. The Four Players magazine, on the other hand, actually scored this game an 80 out of 40, criticized the game's lack of variety and that every map in the game is the same. You settle, bustle, settle, fight a bit, and then this game repeats itself, is what they said. At the 2007 Dutch Awards, this game actually won six different awards, going as the German game, the first game in the series to do so, best level design, best interference, best cutscenes, best graphics, and also the best score. Now, Aufberuf via Coltran, I guess, uses the same engine as Nash's generation and features very similar gameplay.
IGN criticized this game's Everest-like learning curve and also critical of the game mechanics and general map design, citing the tendency for games to begin in sectors with a relative dearth of resources. In Settlers Online, the player has to build a city, once again defeat bandit camps and complete quests, and then eventually get to unlock different buildings and mines as well. If there is a job to do, and finally, okay. pretty much like previous games in the series, in this game the player starts with a skeleton crew and, the, and then must grow their settlement by collecting resources, build farms for food and constructing military structures for both offense and the defense. Thank you. 